So this is the Mandocino by Grez Guitars. It has 25 scale length, 12 fretboard radius, jumbo frets. The necks are a V shape. It has 0.89 at the first fret. The nut width is 1.67. It's a one piece Honduran mahogany neck and a one piece Honduran mahogany body. Now here's the interesting part. The tops are reclaimed salvage old growth redwood from trees that were cut down about 100 years ago that were roughly 1200 years old. The wood has been employed for the last 100 years or so as structure like bridges and tunnels and water tanks. And uh, when these structures are decommissioned, old Barry at Grez Guitars just takes them and makes guitars out of him. It has a nitro finish. The body size is 1.75 thick and 13.25 at the lower bout. It's a badass guitar. It's light as a feather. It weighs under five pounds or just around five pounds. And man, it's sort of like his take on a 335. It does everything from jazz to straight up high gain, but let's just run through some sounds. So this is just a touch of spring reverb, edge of breakup tone. Treble pickup, neck. Both. Now, what they were really trying to do here is come up with a small body. This is a 13 inch body, if I'm not mistaken. And he has a way of correcting flexibility and the thickness of the top to match that, to make it extra resonant. It's sort of trying to build an acoustic instrument that's electric rather than just an acoustic guitar with electronics. And he really did a good job at it. It's super resonant. Even unplugged, it's loud as hell. Sort of reacts like a gypsy jazz guitar or something like that. But here it is with all the gain. So this is... A little bit of verb. But here's straight up high gain. So super versatile guitar really does everything from nice cleans to just saturated tones, kind of like a 335. Here's a clean tone with a lot of reverb to play maybe ballads or something like that. So, in conclusion, this guitar is very, very cool. Again, the lightest thing I've ever felt. You can literally do this to it. Uh, I know it's a trend to pick up the lightest gear possible, so I don't see how you can get a lighter thing that sounds bigger, even if you try. So, great job, Grez Guitars, knocking it out of the park. And uh, subscribe to the channel, click all the buttons, join our Patreon, and we'll see you next time.